It's like CBD is everywhere these days, and apparently it's not just for humans. Many are seeking out the non-psychoactive component of cannabis for their pets. Nikki Kimbleton tells us more about how it can treat a variety of ailments for furry family members. The question we know many of you are asking, should your pet try this? Consumer Reports has the highs and lows of CBD for your PET. Pain, arthritis, seizures, and other health problems have people turning to CBD for their pets. More and more products are hitting the market, and in a recent survey of veterinarians, nearly two-thirds of respondents said they were asked about cannabis by their patients at least once a month. To calm their pets, so dogs who have noise aversion or dogs who have a little anxiety, it seems to help with. And a lot of people are using it for pain management. In the 47 states where CBD is legal for human use, physicians can recommend CBD to their patients, and consumers can often purchase CBD at retail locations. But veterinarians operate under a different set of laws. If you're considering giving your furry family member CBD, Consumer Reports has some tips. Talk to your vet and you'll have to bring up that conversation to make sure that the CBD doesn't interact with any medications that your pet is already on. You're also going to want to start with a low dose and increase gradually to make sure that your pet is doing well as your pet is on the CBD. Cannabis for pets is largely unregulated and it can be difficult to know which CBD products have been formulated responsibly. Look for the seal from the National Animal Supplement Council that could help identify quality products. Something else you want to do, check the product has a COA on the label or website which shows that it has been tested for its content. We have more tips from Consumer Reports on buying CBD for your pet in this article on news4jax.com.